is Chad Winnable, and uh, uh, this is some information about me. Um, I'm from a really small town, and this is a picture of my town from outside my office. Jen knows what this is like. Um, we have one gas station, uh, one grocery store, and one web development company. Uh, so, really small town. I started in Joomla when I was 15. Uh, I was not born with a goatee, although some people will debate that. Um, but I started when I was 15 as an unpaid intern for a one-person web development company. And that company has now grown to about three uh, developers and one administrative person. So it's, uh, it's getting bigger and it's really exciting. I started in Joomla as part of the community in 2007-2008 when Joomla held the G-Hop competition. And that is Google Highly Open Participation Competition or Contest. And that was or became, a little discrepancy, Google Summer of Code eventually. But uh, that's when I officially kind of started working in Joomla as uh, a name and, and not someone who just used it. Uh, so I love Joomla community because it gave me an opportunity to contribute in something. And I love the fact that Google participated in getting me involved. So that's something really near and dear to my heart when it comes to Joomla. What I'm doing now in Joomla is I help uh, manage the resources uh, website, which is resources.joomla.org. Uh, and this site is just a directory, basically, for businesses, professionals, experts, uh, in some fashion of Joomla to get their business name out there. Uh, so that's what I do now. Uh, and as, as well as uh, some of the things like writing documentation and blogs and stuff. All right, so what is Joomla community? Um, this was really hard to define, and the definition changes with every single person you talk to, but uh, I'm gonna uh, say that everyone in this room, because you're just attending this event, you are Joomla community, just flat out. That's what it is uh, in a nutshell. But when we talk about Joomla community, we have to know, you know what is it doing, why do we have it, and, and what is you know what is it doing right now? Because we know that it's done things, uh, and we know that it exists. But you know, right now in its current state, what is Joomla community doing? And that's really important to get. And then, how do we get people involved? And why should they get involved in Joomla? And how do they get involved? And both of those are really difficult. And the longer I'm here talking to people, the more my perspective changes, because people will tell you, well, I don't know how to get involved, or uh, I don't know where to do it, or I've been told that I can't get involved or I've been rejected. So we're going to kind of go over a couple of those things. But to get to the first point, what is Joomla community? Uh, I call it a collaborative effort, basically, of people, organizations, businesses using Joomla or incorporating Joomla into their business or into what they do somehow. And if you look at what an organization is, which Joomla is essentially an organization, it is a bunch of people working together towards a common goal. So that's really what Joomla community is all about. People working together to get something done. And I could borrow the cliche all together as a whole, but you guys already get that, right? So that's really what Joomla is, Joomla community in any case, is people working together to get something done and produce something, and that is Joomla. Um, why does Joomla community exist? What's it all about? Uh, Joomla community really powers Joomla development. Without the community, Joomla development wouldn't exist. Really, it wouldn't. Uh, so you have to have the community to power the software development behind it. You know, And so that's really where they work together. Uh, Mark Dexter wrote this uh, on a blog. He said, Joomla community is the lifeblood of open source. And really, that's uh, a great statement. Without Joomla community, we don't have Joomla. And without Joomla, we don't have the community. So the two are really tied together. Um, it creates uh, the ecosystem, what I call the open source ecosystem, and that's the idea where everyone contributes to the project and then we all get something back from the project. The reason that I want to write code for free and not get paid for it and give it to the Joomla project is because I know that someone's going to write code that I need for the Joomla project that I get to use later. And so it's this back and forth, giving and benefiting type of uh, situation. Um, the development collaboration, is about people getting together and getting this done. I don't think many developers could write Joomla in a room, you know, if they worked for three years. It wouldn't get done. There's so much things, so many things that have, have to be done. And it's such a huge thing that you need a worldwide community of developers who care and are interested to get something of that scale done. 
Without the community, we really lose innovation. The community empowers and enables people to continue thinking. Um, if you were in the session earlier where uh, Joe LeBlanc had the mic for about six seconds and just really blew everyone's mind, he said, you know, without this community, it would be dead. And that's absolutely true. Uh, without the community, without people caring, without people getting involved in Joomla community, it will die, it will stop growing, people are going to stop writing code, people go to other projects, people don't care. So you have to care about this project uh, and be involved for the project to continue. So this is kind of like my uh, idea of everyone in kind of what they all do to contribute back to Joomla. And I wanted to kind of capture the spirit of all different sort of um, professionals. And they might not be coders, they might not be documentation writers, but Joomla incorporates all these different needs into the project. So uh, look at this list, and if you say that you are one of these things, then these are things that you can do for Joomla. Uh, all of this comes down to what I call the, the potluck concept. Uh, does anyone know what a potluck dinner is? Do you know what it is? A potluck dinner is where your aunts and uncles and grandmas and grandpas and everybody brings the best meal that they make to dinner. And they put it on the table and then you get to go down the line and you pull everything off the table, put on your plate that you want to have. And you'll go home and you're going to say, that was the best meal I ever had. And the reason it's the best meal is because everyone brought the thing that they do best to the table and you got to take it and you got the best thing that you wanted. And this is what Jewel Community allows allows us all to put in what we're really good at, whether it's writing or coding or marketing or brand development, whatever we're really good at and we love to do, we put into Joomla community and it creates the best product that, that there is. So this is a really important concept. Um, what happens when we all contribute? We already talked about this. It's the best thing. We get really high quality code with high coding standards. We get a community that loves and cares and is interested in the project, in the source code, in everything that happens. The community cares about it. It's really powerful. Um, I talk about the great, powerful community. And what is that? And I have a great example. I was working on reservations to come to this event. And I could not get a hold of uh, hotel staff. So I sent out a Twitter. And I, uh, Hashtag at Joomla, and I said, hey, does anyone have any contacts for the, the hotel? In minutes, I had people tweeting back to me, yeah, do this. I got numbers, email addresses. That's powerful. You can't, it's such a powerful uh, example of being involved in a community where people care about not only the project, but care about other people in the project, care about their welfare personally. It, that's unique, I think, to Joomla, and it's really special. Um, Joomla is world renowned. People know Joomla. You can talk about open source to anyone, and you know they'll know Linux if they know open source, right? But Joomla is becoming one of those big names where you can talk to someone, open source. Do you know open source? Yeah. Do you know Joomla? Yeah, I've heard of that. It's open source. They get the concept. It's so huge. Um, I already talked about you know the, the helpful community, the friendly community we have. All of this encompassed is Joomla community, right? That's what it all is. Um, this is where things get tricky. Why wouldn't someone want to be a part of this? We've talked about, this is great, great, great. Why wouldn't someone want to be involved? And there's a bunch of really good reasons and other reasons uh, why someone wouldn't get involved. But it's expensive. It takes time and dedication to get involved in this. And to stand up and you know do a presentation, it takes effort. And so sometimes people just don't want to put forth that effort. Um, they don't feel like what they do is worthwhile. They feel like uh, maybe someone else can do it or someone else can do it better, but it's really about someone getting, getting up and doing it. So uh, they, maybe they feel like they're not getting recognized, but they have to get up and do it to do anything, for anything to be done. You know, someone has to actually do it. But that might be a reason that they don't contribute. Uh, they don't know how. This is, I'm learning is a really big problem. There is not great education on Joomla, on how to get involved. And so that's why I wanted to do this presentation. Um, last year, I was in Joomla Day in New York City, and uh, I was talking to someone, and they said, I don't know how to get involved in the Joomla community. They literally told me that, and I flipped out for a second. <laughs> and I said, okay, the next time I have the opportunity to tell someone how to get involved in the Joomla community, I'm going to do it. So I started thinking and writing and 
researching on different ways to get involved, and this is kind of a, a result of that. But if they don't know how, it's the, the project of the June, uh, sorry, the job, the task of the Joomla community who's already involved and already contributing to go out and educate new people to get them to contribute. As if they don't know how or it's difficult, they're not going to. Um, Joomla, the project, is not sometimes specific about what they need. And there's some really great examples of this happening. Um, but really, Joomla needs to put out a, a post and say, we need help with this, we need help with this, whatever it is, and they need to be specific. Um, and that's something I'm going to cover in just a second. But yeah, uh, those are all reasons why people wouldn't contribute to Joomla. So why should they? Um, there's a book uh, written by a man named Carl Fogel, and it is How to Run an Open Source Project. It's basically the user's manual on running open source projects. And in this book, he says that 90% of all free open source projects will fail. And you can kind of argue, well, what is failure for an open source project if it gets put into, you know, the code gets used or put into something else. You can get kind of lost in all that and fudge the number, but 10% of open source projects are active. All the rest are inactive. Um, so it's really uh, important to be involved so that Joomla continue to be an active community, an active project. Um, you're going to get out of this community what you put into this community. And that's really, really true. And it's true in a lot of different things, but in Joomla in particular, if you download Joomla, you install Joomla, and you get Joomla, <coughs> you've gotten something out of the community. But you're not going to be able to go onto Twitter and say, hey, I need help with this and get a response back because no one knows who you are. It, you're, not, you're not getting any sort of community, community involvement there. So if you don't put anything into Joomla and then you'll hear me tell this story and you're going, why isn't that happening to me? Well, what have you done to put into that to have that sort of same result? Um, the ecosystem. Uh, is really important. All these businesses, corporations, using Joomla creates this huge mushrooming community and ecosystem that goes around in a circle where I put in and someone else puts in. And this is just the concept of open source. You know, everyone contributes, everyone gets back. So to keep Joomla viable in that, we have to contribute. Um, the history of Joomla demands we contribute. Uh, those of you who are familiar with the split from Mambo, uh, back in the day, that happened because we had all contributed to a project and then a corporation wanted to take that away and make it so that we couldn't anymore and we fought them on it. So for us to now, five years later, say we're not gonna, we're gonna stop contributing, well, then why did we fight that fight in the first place? What was the point if we're just gonna give it up now? So history really demands that we continue to contribute, we continue to innovate and be involved in this community. Um, this is a great graphic. I love that. <laughs> um, so where can you get involved? Uh, the biggest problem I've seen is that there's not enough education going on on how to get people involved. It's convoluted. If you go to Joomla.org, there's a link that says get involved, and there's about 50,000 things on it, and you can't find anything because it's not specific. And it comes down to someone saying, why don't you just respond to some support questions on the Joomla forms? And really that's not specific, and no one wants to do that. So, someone needs to do it, of course, but we need Joomla as a the project uh, needs to manage the volunteer base a little bit better and say, here's where we need help. But um, these are some different areas that are really general that I wanted to break down. So, I wanted to talk about who are you guys? What do you already do? What are you already good at? So, if you already are really good at writing code, there's definitely room for you in the Joomla community, right? But maybe you don't write code. Maybe you write, uh, you know, something else. Maybe you write in just English or, uh, you know, as academic uh, type of person. So what can you do as, as an expert and professional in that field? And there's a lot of things you can do. You can write documentation. You can contribute to the Joomla magazine, and you can help inform other people about Joomla. Maybe not in the Joomla sphere. Go outside the Joomla sphere and start uh, capturing a bigger audience. Go write uh, for a local newspaper or something like that and talk about what you know about Joomla. And might not even be inside that Joomla sphere that I've talked about. Outside of it, but you're going to make that sphere bigger and more people are going to, it's just kind of like a marketing uh, at that point. Um, so these are different areas where 
if you're already good at this or already doing this, you can incorporate Joomla into that and contribute to the community that way. Uh, this is something that uh, Ryan and Ashman Company put together, and we call it the contribution workflow. And what this is, is kind of gauges your skill level as a, a person, and kind of points you in the direction of what you might be able to do. So Ryan told me that pretty much anyone with very, very little knowledge, just a, a usage of Joomla and an internet connection, you can contribute to Joomla. And what that is, is first of all, you have to understand a little bit about the project. So he wants you to read the current release vision. And there was actually someone who said to me, I don't know if there is a current release vision. Um, I went and checked, there is one. Uh, it's on Joomla.org's website. You do have to dig for it. It's not obvious, but it's there. Um, but the other thing that you can do, and this is really cool to do, is vote on ideas. Vote on what's, you know, what is the next uh, features that you want in Joomla. Mark Dexter wrote a post several weeks ago about the features for 1.7, which is supposed to be released. Um, so if you haven't voted, you can do it really, really easy, and it requires little knowledge. All you have to do is use Joomla, know what it doesn't have, know what you want it to have, and go vote on something. And that takes you about 30 seconds. So uh, that's something that you can do, and it's really simple to do. And if you have ideas, submit them on the idea tracker. So if you're like a more intermediate type of person, and as far as technical level, there's some other things that you can do, and that is you can join the CMS and framework mailing list. And I literally just got on this list maybe a month ago, because I didn't know about it. So uh, the uh, visibility of the list needs to be expanded an enormous amount, and that's something I've got to talk to some other people about. But join the mailing list if you're interested in anything development-wise in Joomla. Find bugs and fix bugs. Joomla 1.6 was released, and it had a lot of bugs. Uh, and hopefully, we all downloaded that RC, and we didn't just install it, see that it stopped working, and then not do anything about it. We should have uh, all been contributing uh, bug problems, and then if you have any sort of technical skills when it comes to coding, start diving into the code and diagnosing the problems and see if you can fix them. And then the other thing that you can do is write documentation, and this is something that, as someone who was on the documentation team for a while, uh, is near and dear to my heart again. I love writing documentation. I love trying to figure out the user experience, what they're doing. Um, what I do is, I have a brother who can barely check his email. And so I write documentation for something in Joomla, and I have him go through the documentation and see if he can complete the task that I've given him. And if he can't do it, I go back and change my documentation and make it so that he can do that. And it's long and annoying sometimes, but I've gotten really great comments from different people about how thorough my documentation is. So if you have someone like that, or someone preferably who is not a technical person, because they're going to be the people who read the documentation. Because, oops. Uh, um, they're going to be the people who are looking at the documentation to figure out what's going on. Generally, the people who uh, write documentation don't need it. And the people you have read it for you and see if it's good already know what you're doing. And so it's kind of pointless. So have someone who doesn't know anything about Joomla or anything about what you're doing, check out your documentation and see if it makes sense. Uh, and really advanced here, you can uh, create a feature patch. So if you've looked at ideas.joomla.org and you see something on there, um, then create a patch for it and get it into the core. Uh, and then the last thing, get, get that branch from uh, the mailing list, set up a branch, and, start it, and we'll get that merged in, hopefully. Um, one thing I've noticed is, along with the Joomla questions, is the Joomla patch. You know, you're talking to someone and you have this great idea and they're just going to say, well, we'll write a patch. But I don't think that people understand what all a patch is about sometimes. Developers do, but other people don't. Uh, so there's four different types of patches. There's patches that fix security issues, uh, patches that fix just general things that are broken. Um, button doesn't work, you click on it, nothing happens. That's a bug. Um, there's patches that improve usability. Maybe we need to change the color of that button or make it more obvious if the button exists. You know, those are patches, improvements, and it's a usability thing. And then the last one is improved performance. If we're speeding things up or making it easier to use, 
uh, all those things would tie into little tiny patches, little fixes. Um, and so that's really what, when we say go write a patch, we're talking about grabbing the code, taking a look at it, changing it, taking the files that we changed, and submitting them to the bug tracker so that they can be incorporated into the form. The Joomla forms. This is a screenshot of the Joomla forms for the web And there's a lot of posts on the Joomla form. And if you are new with Joomla, or you've used Joomla for a while, um, this is a great place for you to work because you are going to start out by probably answering really basic questions. And as you read through, you're actually going to, first of all, you're going to get smarter because as you read through and you see other people's replies, you're going to go, oh, I didn't know that. I can't tell you how many things I've learned by helping other people. It's incredible. Uh, I started out writing uh, just little hints on installation, a little, you know, um, you know, change your config file or do this or do that. And the more I did that, the more bigger, bigger problems I ran into. And then I'd go figure out the solution, and then I would know that solution myself. And I'd end up using it on my own project sometime later. So Joomla Forms is really a great place to hang out. It's kind of a drag sometimes, because there's thousands of posts, and half of them are the same. But uh, at that point, just say, hey, go use the search feature. Documentation. Docs.joomla.org is a place where I spent a lot of time when Joomla 1.5 came out writing a lot of documentation. And this is a wiki. Does everyone know what a wiki is? What is it? Does that mean that anybody can write on the wiki? It's not locked down. You go create an account and you can change documentation on docs.joomla.org. It's a matter of creating the account, logging in, and changing stuff. So if you, uh, I've had a, some people say that, oh, the documentation for uh, developers isn't great, the documentation for this isn't great, the document. Go, create an account, log in, and add it or change it or whatever needs to happen, and just go do it. Um, so that's really easy, I think, anyways. Uh, so that's a place that we can all uh, contribute. The mailing lists. This is what the mailing list screen looks like. I didn't know what it looked like until about a month ago, because I had never seen it before. Um, but there's a couple of different lists uh, to get involved in. The development ones are the framework and the CMS. Uh, these other, I don't even know what this is. And there's really not really great descriptions here. So sometimes someone should talk to me and tell me what they are, because I don't know if I'm going to do that. Um, but Joomla Leadership, this is where the guys talk about Joomla Leadership stuff. Community, I think CLT is and there's other lists that uh, are out there that we don't have access to, or we've just been given uh, read-only access to, I think. Um, reporting bugs. This is a bug tracker for Joomla. It's really geeky looking. But when something doesn't work the way you think it should, or function the way you think it should, uh, it's code.joomla.org, and this is the bug tracker for the Joomla project. So we can see a lot of uh, important information here. When was it reported? What is, what's going on? Is it a big deal? Uh, is someone working on it? You know, some general information. But if you want to uh, find a bug and report, uh, report that it exists and post a patch if you have one, this is where it would go. And then writing code. This is a software project, so there is some code involved. Uh, I was told to make a big deal about the fact you don't have to be a coder. So it is a big deal. You do not have to be a coder to contribute to Joomla. But it is a software project, so if you are a coder, this is where you can get involved. Uh, there's a couple of steps to contributing to Joomla code, and this gets debated a lot. <laughs> Jim's looking at me like, he's going there, he's going there. Yeah. Um, I just looked this up literally 10 minutes ago because someone told me that it wasn't obvious. Whether or not this exists, I don't know because I've not done it. But according to the powers that be, this is how you get involved in writing code. There's a document called the JCA, which is the Joomla Contributor Agreement. You need to sign it. And then you need to tell people on the production leadership mailing list and the CMS mailing list what you want to do. And this is a, pretty much acquiring a branch for yourself to do a lot of heavy development. Uh, you're going to tell them what you want to do, and they're going to tell you whether that's a good idea. Uh, because if you want to put virtue mark in Joomla 1.6, they're going to tell you it's a bad idea, and they won't give you the branch. But if you're going to tell them you're going to do something really cool and useful, I'm not trying to think of a good example, but I can't. 
Um, then they're going to give you a branch and they're going to let you do it. So that's jam do. Then you're going to submit whatever you're doing, either add to the branch, and they're going to merge it in if it does what you say it does and meets the coding standards. This is a, a bunch of links, uh, places that I spend a lot of my time uh, writing for the magazine, which anyone can do. And uh, Diane, are you representing that? If you want to contribute to the Joomla magazine that comes out every month, <coughs> she's, she's your lady. The deadline is the 23rd month for the first month publication. Go to magazine.org, sign in as an author. You can log in, you can go through, and you will have directions. You submit an article. The article goes into a submit bucket. Um, we are always looking for international articles in your language, please. And um, we do have a list of topics. There's author resources. There's a ton of stuff. So, magazine is really cool. I love the magazine. I don't get there. Uh, uh, docs is the documentation site. There was a, a time when someone told me they didn't know where any documentation for Joomla was. And it's really simple to find out because they've just kind of in the last two years did the docs site. Um, so, it, all the documentation is there. If you're into uh, the coding thing, code.joomla.org is where the bug tracker is, where the downloads is. Uh, all that stuff is uh, right there. Extensions.joomla.org. Uh, I probably didn't make a big enough deal about this, but I'm kind of assuming everyone already knows. A big way to contribute to Joomla is to write not only core code, but extensions. We have a huge extension community. 7,000 extensions on 1.6 right now, I think is the number. Uh, so you can write code that isn't in Joomla core and contribute in a, an enormous way, probably one of the biggest ways, on extensions.joomla.org. And then people site is pretty much the Joomla community uh, where everybody hangs out now. Um, if you're part of the Joomla community and you're not part of the people site, get involved in the people site because that's where a lot of community stuff happens. And it's really the place for community language. So that's it. Any questions? Uh, I have a question for you. Uh, there's many people approaching to the project now with abilities that are done in the, the ones that we are used, like coding or mm -hmm. similar. People that know marketing, that those I don't know, uh, selling. Yeah. Um, but those people, when I say to them, why don't you start in forums? That is the place that mm -hmm. you said, or we think that it's the first place to start. Yeah. Um, they say no. I'm, I'm not a forum person. And what what solution do you think could be good for these people that don't want or don't feel the forum like a thing to be involved? Well, a lot of people look at the forum and they see all the coding stuff, and they're like, "I'm not a coder. I don't want to get involved in that," <coughs> or "I don't want to answer how to install Joomla 1.6 questions." Uh, so, uh, my boss is actually a marketing professional. He did marketing for about 30 years. And he wanted to get involved in Joomla marketing. So actually, the thing to do would be to talk to someone from OSM, I think. I'm going to, maybe. Um, Probably Alice. Alice. Yeah. And they hook you up with the whole marketing team. There is, uh, I know there's a marketing team and a trademark team that do stuff. Yeah. Back there. Hit that table on the way out. <laughs> um, so that's where someone like that would get involved, would be yeah. with a team like that. But it's not really written down anywhere. No, yeah. Uh, I was going to do a slide and I ran out of time. Joomla Project, uh, as people who manage the websites and things, really need to rethink uh, a lot of the communication to the Joomla community and how they can get involved. Yeah. Uh, for me, I'm uh, also not a coder. And uh, I, actually, uh, I had the same problem because I also made forums. So uh, I went three years ago to uh, the Dutch Joomla Day. And next year I was a co-organizer, is that right? Mm -hmm. Co-organizer. And um, I organized the um, days uh, now for three years with a small group. And actually that's, that's my contribution uh, to the community. That's a great contribution. That's for me, it's a very cool way to come to this project. Awesome. Events, uh, yeah, a big emphasis on events in the community. Yeah, can I add something to the people that I work um, is join the groups, get involved with the different groups, and sign up with people, and make friends, just say hi, 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 friend people. 
because it's John Bosch, and that's the way it works. So it's different. You'll get to connect and talk to everybody. That's, that's how I got involved. Anything else? All right. Did I see him? No. Okay. Um, Contact info if you want to get hold of me, and I think we're done. Maybe a little short. <laughs> <laughs>